Okay, hi guys. Right, um, this is going to be part two of my epic haul from Sunday. Um, this part, I'm going to do all the media stuff and the games. So, yeah, let me show you what I picked up. Okay, right, I'll start with the best pickup when it comes to the media stuff. Um, everything you see here, as far as the, the N64, the controllers, the PS1 pad and all the leads, and all of this stuff at the front, I paid £12 for everything, and it was all in a box. Basically, the N64 and PlayStation were on top of the box. Everything else, apart from this book, which I'll explain in a minute, was underneath. So I didn't really know what I was getting. But as soon as I saw the N64 and a couple of pads, I was happy with the £12 that, that we agreed on. So I just bought it. I got it home, and then I realised it was a much better score than I had anticipated. I would have been happy, like I say, just, I'd have paid £12 for, for the N64 there, to be honest. Because just, just that sort of 30 35 quid, I'd imagine, as a bundle. And then I've got the PS1 there, which aren't worth a great deal, but it's in quite nice condition. Um, but yeah, like I say, I got home and then realised there was a load of games underneath it. So I managed to get Banjo-Kazooie. Most of these have their manuals. Right, sorry guys, I managed to fill up the memory on my phone and just had to wipe some stuff off. So, let me carry on. Okay, so the N64 games. Yeah, it included Banjo-Kazooie, uh, which... No, I haven't sold many of these games for a while, so I'm going to be estimating prices, uh, but I might be a bit out of date. That would imagine sort of £10-£12 game. Um, like I say, most of these do have the manuals. Toy Story 2 is probably similar sort of value. At least 10, maybe more. Pokemon Stadium, similar sort of value, probably 10 or 12. Pokemon Snap, maybe sort of 7 or 8, I'd imagine. Rugrats, not a lot of value, maybe a fiver. But the score of the bundle was this. This is Banjo-Tooie, which is the sequel to that first one I showed you, Banjo-Kazooie. But Banjo-Tooie was issued at the end of the, the console's life. It was issued, I think it was 2001. And it didn't sell in massive numbers because everything had kind of moved on at that point. So it's always been quite a rare game and, and now the, the values just keep, keep on uh, rising on it. And it's got its manual in quite nice condition as well. So that's probably a £40, maybe more game, just that one on its own. So yeah, that really made the deal. And then also, as part of it all, there was this randomly in the bottom of the box, Spider-Man 2 on the Game Boy, it's quite nice. This nice double pack of Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider 3 and Last Revelation. It's in lovely, minty, fresh condition. They've been so well looked after. The discs are absolutely mint and the manual. And then a lovely, again, minty, fresh copy of Final Fantasy 7 with bonus disc. And as I was leaving the stall, um, she shouted over to me and said, Oh, I just found this book in another box. I think it goes with that game. And she just gave it to me. Now this book is actually worth more than the game. Um, I've seen these go for 30 and beyond. Um, it's not in perfect condition but it's not too bad so that's an easy 2025 possibly more just for the official Prima strategy guide. So that just made the deal that bit sweeter. So yeah that was a fantastic find. Um, Right, I picked up a, a Wii bundle, but it was strange. On the store there was a box with these four controllers, uh, all the leads, um, an unofficial knackered nunchuck that's probably heading for the bin, and one official nunchuck. So it's just all of that and no console. Uh, and I had a rummage through, looked at the these. I've just sold a pair of those for 20, so I knew there was, there was value in it. Uh, asked her how much she wanted and we agreed on a fiver for all of the controllers, nunchucks and all the leads. And then I said to her, do you not have the console? And she said, well, my son just told me that it, he couldn't make it work last time he tried it. So I put it back in the back of the car because I didn't want to sell it. Um, so I said to her, what are you going to do with it? And she said, I'm going to chuck it in the bin. So I said, well, look, I'll give you a pound and I'll, I'll take it away. How's that? So I got this for a pound. It's in really terrible condition. Um, but when I had a look at it, I realised it had its doors in working condition and they're worth a pound to me anyway. So it was a no-brainer really and I'll have a play around with it, see if I can get it running. 
So yeah, so for six pounds, I got all of that. Um, these, I bought four books. Um, not that Gruffalo one, that was something else. The books were 20 pence on a still set, and I found four that I wanted. Guitar for Dummies. I uh, don't know if it's got any value, but I play guitar myself, uh, and I'm a bit of a dummy, so I thought that was perfect for me. And then some nice niche books. Restaurant Financial Basics. Small Business Startup Workbook and start a new own restaurant. And at 20 pence each, I went for those. That was 80p. And then she had some games on the stool and she wanted, I think it was 20 or 30p each. And the only one I was bothered about was time splitters. So I grabbed that and then um, she said, just take all of them. Um, well, we agreed on a pound with time splitters and the other books. So I gave her the pound. She said, said just take the others away. So I ended up with that. For a pound these are just you know bundled for the really matrix winter sports harry potter quidditch um so there was that then these a uh, few cds with these were all 20 pence you've got kings of leon another kings of leon another kings of leon a couple of oasis some glee ones perfect little bundle stuff a now album and then a few singles which were 10 pence each couple of nice 1990, I think it's 92, sort of period, Genesis ones. And then a load of old, early 90s REM ones, um, which I am going to take some tracks off. I don't have some of the B-sides on these. So I'm going to take the tracks off those and then sell those as a bundle. So they were good. I've got a Sims 2 expansions bundle on the side so the main game isn't in this but it will sell as a bundle so there's loads of the, the cool stuff ones so you've got family fun stuff glamour stuff actually fashion stuff teen style kitchen and bathroom and ikea as well as pets nightlife open for business seasons and the Christmas and they were 20 pence each and then I got a bit of a deal on it so it was even less than that um, some of this stuff was was bundled together and on the same stalls so yeah they were ridiculously cheap uh, Adele's 19 50p Les, Les Miserables uh, 50p and a Wilbur Smith Warlock audiobook for uh, that may have been a pound that one if I remember rightly uh, and then I found a stall where he had a big sign up saying all the CDs were 50 pence unless you bought 10. If you bought over 10, they were 30p each. So obviously, me being me, I bought over 10. Uh, it came to nine pounds something. I can't remember, we did a bit of a deal. And I basically bought stuff that was instantly bundleable. So let me quickly whiz through. Three Rage Against Machine. Whoops, throwing one away. Three Ways Against Machine, a really nice pile of Steely Dan albums there. So that's an instant, really nice bundle. Oh, another one. Uh, same again, Super Fairy Animals, really nice uh, bundle of their stuff. All of those Super Fairy Animals, that's one way around. Uh, that one as well, Super Furries. Uh, a few suede albums, yeah, there's not really much of a market for suede, but I love the band anyway, so I kind of I kind of uh, went for it anyway. A couple of U2 best ofs, they, they sell quite well as a pair. And Police, perfect bundle there. Uh, a couple of Feist albums, uh, I may be keeping these. Uh, I think she's a really talented singer-songwriter. So I've got those two. And two Tool albums. So yeah, easy, quick bundles there. Uh, got a Crash uh, Bandicoot 3 Warped for a pound. A Zelda Skyward Sword, I paid five. Um, this, uh, it doesn't have its front sleeve, but it's an easy sort of 10 to 15 pound game. Zelda Skyward Sword is one to look out for. I paid five for this, um, but I'll, I'll be looking at 20 back on that one. Uh, Ico is a nice PS2 game to pick up. 
not sure what value this has anymore, sort of eight to ten pound mark, I would think. Uh, there's a there's a version of this in a card sleeve, which I think is the first edition, and I would imagine they have more value. But this, yeah, it's nice going to pick up. Um, and these were now oh God, I can't remember. It was some silly price. I think it was thirty p each they were charging. So I got that from the same stall, thirty p each. Kingdom Hearts two and the first one they bundle up wonderfully like that as a pair probably get about 12 pounds back and then a few which aren't so great um sega superstars spyro heroes tale uh, a couple of sing star ones party and 80s and then herbs and jackass i don't think there's much if any value in those but that was cool uh, another stool uh this was by the time i got to the stevenage car boot so i picked up these uh, lady had a load of PC stuff in a box and oops, I asked her how much it was and she said everything's 50 pence. So I pretty much bought all of it apart from this block set which she wanted a pound for. Uh, which is really nice Tom Clancy set. So I grabbed that and then what I'll probably do is bundle with the box set this Ghost Recon Future Soldier and Hawks 2 because the set has the first Hawks in it. So that'll be a perfect little bundle. And then we've got Command and Conquer First Decade, that's a good seller. Battlefield 3, Medal of Honor, Might and Magic Heroes. I haven't looked any of these up, I don't know what value there is. Uh, I might bundle some of these. Perfect little bundle there, Operation Flashpoint Red River. And the first one, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and 2. So that was a nice deal. And when I said that I wanted the whole lot, it worked out at six pounds, so I offered her a fiver, so I got all of that for a fiver. Um, some DVD box sets. Uh, this is the Dog Whisperer, this Caesar Milan guy. Uh, it's an American NTSC imported DVD, but I thought for a pound that was worth going on. I paid a pound for this Santa Claus trilogy, mainly because it's actually sealed. I don't think you can see, but they're all factory cellophane sealed inside. So, went for that. Hold on. Sorry about that. My, my dinner's ready, so I'm going to have to um, carry on in a minute. I'll just do a few more DVDs. So, yeah, that was nice for a pound uh, for a sealed box set. I got for another pound Jurassic Park Ultimate Collection. Uh, Game On Complete DVD Box Set. That's Series 1, 2 and 3. Um, these were 90p each. It's a very strange price, but... Um, yeah, anyway, that 70s show, season two, three, and the first one. So £2.70 for that. These X-Men DVDs I got off the same store where the games were 30p. Um, I wouldn't normally bother, but they had pretty much all of the X-Men films. Um, so I grabbed five of those for £1.50 the lot. I'll make a bundle. So you've got First Class, Wolverine... Uh, Last Stand, X-Men 2, X-Men, so yeah, nice, perfect little bundle. Ah, same stall, this Red Dwarf series, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and these were 30 pence each as well, which is ridiculous. These are three disc box sets really, but they're, they're done in a thin case, so it's got three discs in. So yeah, that was an absolute steal. Uh, a Microsoft Office for Mac 2008. Uh, paid a pound, not sure what these go for, but there's always good money in those. Um, this is really nice. It's well worth picking up if you see it. Terry Pratchett's Discworld 2 uh, for the PC. It's like an old big box CD-ROM game. I paid a pound for that. They go for a comfortable 20, maybe a bit more i have to check what current prices are. Um, and then, oh, it's these. These were 50 pence each on a different stall. Ultimate Force. These are complete series in a box. I've got series one, two, three, and four for two pounds. So perfect little bundle there. And then this lot, a lot of these were um, off the same stall. I got a big bundle and some that I picked up on different stalls. Um, 
I think there's two items I paid a pound for. I paid a pound for Aristocats Disney Special Edition one there. I paid a pound for the Disney Classics Treasure Planet. Everything else was either, was either 50 pence or less. Uh, quite a lot of them were sort of three for a pound, that sort of money, or five for two pounds. Um, so yeah, I tend to make bundles up out of these. I'll put a couple of decent Disney ones in and then bundle in this sort of Shrek stuff, uh, Chicken Run, Madagascar. Uh, and they tend to go really well. So yeah, a few bundles worth of kids animated DVDs. Okay, so there you go. That's uh, part two of the haul. That's the media stuff I picked up. I will do one more part to finish this off, which is like all the other stuff, books and uh, yeah, random gear. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry it's gone on for a bit. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and keep your eyes peeled for part three, which will be coming probably tomorrow. So speak to you soon. Take care.